I also watched with Jake when he came over. I watched I Spit on Your Grave, mm-hmm. which is a really famous slash infamous rape revenge movie. It's mm-hmm. probably like one of the most like top three most controversial talked about like well-known rape revenge movies from like the grindhouse era mm-hmm. you know you have movies like last house on the left by wes craven and then you got i spit on your grave and you have mm-hmm. other films like the house at the edge of the park thriller a cruel picture which is a swedish movie mm-hmm. with the girl with the one eye eye patch where that was in, that influenced the uh, kill bill really yeah yeah mm-hmm. i want to watch that too but i spit on your grave was really rough dude it was like, like when you ask if you should watch it i'm like i don't think you should do because it's not i don't think you should watch that movie by yourself it's like it's it's good it's like really good mm-hmm. but like it's so gruesome like not only is like the rape stuff in it fucked up like when she gets revenge on these guys it's like really gruesome and, it's like, not like a young feel and satisfied and like, no you feel satisfied but it's also like it's done in such a realistic rough way and there's no music or anything mm-hmm. and like the whole rape sequence in it it's like a fucking 30 minute sequence Mm -hmm. just like keeps they keep like falling and it keeps happening to her and shit yeah and then like the way she kills these guys is like she like her her perpetrators she basically like lures them in sexually and like will have sex with one of them and then like fucking like do some fucked up shit like fucking stab them in the balls or like but it was very like effective very Mm -hmm. like cut and dry effective rape revenge movie but jake was like dude like that was like that's gonna stick in my mind like some of those parts and shit and it definitely stuck it like i was like laying in bed like kind of thinking about like one of those movies yeah yeah but i've, I've heard a lot about i spit on your grave and it was pretty effective and it was it was well done for what mm-hmm. it was like probably like 70k budget but yeah it's like part of that like, grindhouse tradition like super controversial super banned roger ebert like said it was the most disgusting movie he ever saw and stuff mm-hmm. and but it has gained a cult following and kind of more appreciation as time go on, it goes on, but it is a very rough movie to watch. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's like all in nature and stuff and it's shot really cool. And there's more to it artistically than just the exploitative elements. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good to know, you know, mm-hmm. um, it's not a movie I would, you would be into. Yeah. I don't think I would either. Yeah. Did Jake like it? Yeah. Jake liked it a lot. Yeah. He loved it. Well, I'm, I'm glad, like, the, th- the most important thing for me is that there's intentionality behind it. Yeah. And it sounds like there is. Mm-hmm. With, like, the graphic aspects of it mm-hmm. kind of is effective in a way. But yeah, it's really, a, yeah, it's definitely like a, all right, like, this is what we're getting into. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, but it's really good. Like, the actress in it is great. Mm-hmm. And that guy only made, like, that one movie. The guy who directed it, I mean, that one movie, and then he made... He made a remake or like a sequel to it like 20, 30 years later or some shit. I heard it's really bad. This is definitely a polarizing movie, but if you're into the grindhouse, like if you can stomach shit like that, then I would recommend it. Because I, I, I liked it, yeah. but I'm into that sort of thing. You know, like I'm into this rough grindhouse shit. The thing is, it's not real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they're not actually doing it. It's actually just all. But the thing is, like you feel like it's so, it's so like boots on the ground, like physical that you're like, ugh. Yeah. Even though it's just images, you know, it's just like yeah. people like pretending and mm-hmm. editing and blood, like paint, you know, it's not. Yeah. That's what cinema can do. Like, can really like put you there and shit. Yeah, it can. Like, it like transports you. Mm-hmm. I think animal cruelty is worse than that. Yeah. Honestly. Well, that's actual. Yeah. That's actual like real life shit. Like the, the, the Italians did. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that, that that's more fucked up to me than like any kind of pretend on screen thing. Because that's like no one signs up for that, you know. There's no yeah. consent there. Yeah. What they do to the animals. Yeah. But um, like I can understand if someone like if I say, oh yeah, I watched I Spit on Your Grave, like and I liked it, and then someone says they hate that movie, I can understand that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's disturbing and it's not for the faint of heart, glamorous thing. But mm-hmm. like I would like I would be down to rewatch it again in the future just to, but I don't want to, I feel like Jake and I were like joking around. We were like, dude, imagine just like, I don't know if I could watch this movie alone. Like yeah. I don't feel like so gross watching it alone. Like I felt like Jake was there experiencing it with me. Yeah. And Jake kind of also can appreciate those aspects of the film. Yeah. Too, yeah. So. Yeah. Cause he's just like a big horror fan. Yeah. You know? And that's why I like, I, I fuck with it. Would you and say just, it's like horror? It's uh, horror for sure. Yeah. It's definitely horror thriller. Like, 